Hello guys and welcome to today's video. You've been asking for the full version of it. So here it is, Root of War. We've got FS taking on the one and only Angels of Chaos. So what we're going to do for this special actual version is upload the full video, but I am going to timestamp my favorite highlights and parts. If you want to just skip to those, you can. Or if you want to watch the full length game, it's all there. So enjoy today's video. Even the boy of wonder, Jason Gee. I wish I could show you them, but we can't at the moment. Coming out on this whole Jason as well, coming out on a hall of power. Got all of the different types of rallies coming out here on the Lucius side as well. You can see where they're targeting on the AC side. Here is the FS ones, right? So we will see who is going for what. So the 122.77, let's see if we've got anyone meeting it. Doesn't look like it. So it's going to be a very interesting one. You made it on time? Yes, you did. You made it just on time, my guy. So let's do this. We can see them all coming out now from the FS side. Obviously, we don't have vision yet available to us on this, so we won't be able to see them. But look at the FS coming down through the south side, obviously pushing across here towards the Hall of Blessing. And more importantly, already taking control of all of their Hall of Nature and moving to the center. So let's see what's gonna go on here. Cause you can see obviously their line's going straight towards it. So let's see what the enemy does. Maybe the enemy don't meet in the middle. This could be all different. We're all expecting it. We've got this hall of power to this tree. So they are definitely around this zone. We've got one outpost and they can see as well. These guys come in. Now we've got the rally coming in from Jason now. Let's see what they do. They're going to push with the rally. Are they going to push before the rally? It looks like they're pushing with it. AC just taking control of their tree of healing. Just entering it. So that time has started. Here we go. Already the rallies coming into each other. Blocking each other from entering Jason versus... Um, away could Polly here already meet in the bridge. Let's see what goes off here. Obviously, the oh, the mocking chorus coming out. Jason's rally is now targeting that poor infantry player. So far, a major rally is not in the game, right? It's not being targeted, it's still being left to on its own device, which is kind of nice. Jason's rally taking all the heat right now. All of the AC guys focusing it down. You can see with some of the focus on this back end as well. Got high hand getting some of the small focus here. We're zooming out. You can see only a small amount of forces here so far. So we will watch this fight for a little bit and we'll obviously jump out and check out um, the other areas because you can see here on the blue side it looks like. We have got a contention happening as well. If we just quickly click over onto the troops, you can see there's quick rally from FS. And the FS rally looks like it's going to be losing to the actual cavalry rally here on the Emery side. So let's go back into the action here. Nice and easy, quick flick of roo. And AC are doing a nice push here, guys. Nice push on the center. FS holding their main murder ball here. But Jason's rally is almost out and trying to push towards the whole of power. Is it going to be able to actually deal enough damage though and actually take control of it? We'll have to keep an eye on that. If you just check on the top side, which is really nice as well, we can see an another rally coming in. Zero Cobra's rally though is going to be successful, it looks like, on here. And just before the timer, so we don't even get the points for that on the AC side. That was a massive steal on uh, the FS team there. But look at this, the middle has developed. It, I'm not gonna lie, FS boys, you need to step into gear here. It looks like they are more confident. 
in the middle fight, but look at this, 180 score per minute to 150 score per minute, so even ACR running so far in ahead, obviously per minute on score, but look, we're now matching 180 to 180 on both sides, and obviously AC as well, down one player, I've only just noticed, 29 members to 30, so we will see how that goes, we have a rally now being launched as well, from AC going on to a bunch of our uh, FS, you know, buildings. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out onto those. We can check out here on the top side. This rally nowhere near getting through onto the infantry, doing some nice damage. However, Awaken oh, Polly here is actually gonna be punishing this infantry garrison and destroying it and taking control of the points. Look at that insane book. 520 plus points has been on the grabs. If we look on the map as a quick little heads up, you can see where all of the units are now on FSI. They are prioritizing all of the buildings on the outer side of the map. So you can see now the big spike, 520 or 550 now going to the FS crew. So now they have taken the lead with it in the first seven minutes of this actual Roots of War so far. So it's actually gonna be a really interesting one. Let's see if they're gonna maintain all of these buildings or an AC gonna be able to actually take control back of some of them. We can see Behar obviously launching some rallies. We've got a nice rally here being matched out. We can go and actually check this one out. If we're go into the outpost so they try to take control of this vision again which is interesting it's maybe free for them maybe they can take the courage afterwards on the ac side but now fs putting their troops back into the site and they're trying to take control of it ready in case of obviously as we know the lifestyle spawning in three minutes could spawn on any of them so let's see which one it goes to Like to see the flying units as well. Look, Bert trying to be used, boys. Bert trying to be used um, here, which is just nice to see when it comes to, honestly, uh, Roots of War gameplay and new heroes, right? But here we go. Two minutes on the time for Behemoths. Behemoths are currently available. So let's see who is going to be summoning their Behemoths first. We've got High Hand using his infantry with another FS player there. But we've got the Goresh Skorgul, kind of the premier infantry frontline, right? This is what you want. And look at that. Instantly mocking chorus into mocking chorus. Both of them are taunting down on each other. But look, Madeline Skorgul is taking quite a lot of damage and dishing it out as well, which is nice to see. Very surprising compared to Goresh and Skorgul, which I think... Might be losing out here. Let's see who's going to die first. I can't see because the Gorin. Oh, no, we're not. We've seen it. We saw the spoiler. Obviously, unfortunately, Madeline scored the goal dead. But our boys, FS, 680 score ahead. And another rally now is coming. Beer Hearts coming through with the cavalry. Oh, let's see what this does. Theodore Forendell. Let's see both heroes are maxed out. How hard hitting that this is actually going to be on their side here. We're going to quickly just check on this top side as well. We can see Tree of Courage being attacked by Mr. AC here for justice. But we've got enough of a swarm here on their FS side. So that's going to allow them to obviously um, swarm it down and to keep it. So let's see if... Behart in uh, infantry, not infantry, a uh, cavalry is going to be able to take out the infantry garrison here. Because obviously, as you guys should know, infantry do have, as you guys know, the unit advantage against cavalry, right? So that's kind of unfortunate. So I don't know why they've gone through this choice, but it's interesting. Maybe they, they re watch this and learn from just how these rallies have been interacting. But here you got Theodore, Forendel, maybe both Awaken against just the standard Madeline and Goward. And that, that is tanking it, boys. And just like that, they cancelled maybe the rally. No, they're not. They're just going to lay it through. Just going to keep it through. They have full control of the center now on this side. Going on to the top now. AC are looking to reclaim the left side. 
of the map here. They've taken control of Tree of Control. They need to wait one minute for that timer, obviously, to gain that score per minute and take it away from the FS team here. But, look, FS, I think, are cool about it. I don't think they're, they're bothered. They're actually wasting their time. 10 seconds available on here. you got to remember, we've got people waiting already at these, right? Just in case. This is where they're going to be spawned at. So, really nice bit of footage here. But AC understand this. They see it. The livestone. Let's see who has it. I think Doge has it. No. Not spawned yet. Almost. Almost. I don't know if it's a bug, but almost. <laughs> Coming up. Any time now, right? Here we go. Beat Rally. Unfortunately, does die like we did anticipate. So, this Hall of Power is staying in AC's control here. Madara now launches his Rally on the Hall of Power. So, let's just see if his Rally is going to do any better than Beat's here. We can see Tree of Courage being taken on the left side. So, like I was stating here, AC very confident in obviously, you know, trying to reclaim this left or bottom side of the Roots of War map. They've taken control of two of their buildings. They've got 290 score to load it 670 on this other side is what it is. We can see another rally coming in. Awakened Polly is going to be able to take control of this Hall of Nature. If so, I don't think they care personally. I think they're going to just obviously re-kill this garrison if it happens. We'll obviously keep an eye on it. We can see a nice little rally block here by the FS guys. Really nice to see this. This is what you can do if you are paying attention on these side lanes. Try and catch those rallies. Send a counter rally to it. Oh no, this is unfortunate. Now we have a garrison. It's a cavalry garrison. And this poor, poor mage rally is honestly getting just decimated, boys. It is going to get decimated. But... It's still getting some good trades here. 43,000. Look how much he's taken. 28.6, man. Woof. Woof. This is already, guys, within, what, 12 minutes? We've still 45 minutes to go. This is going to be a crazy one. Let's see how long they last for, right? So this is going to be an unfortunate one, but Bear has been summoned. Here we go. Fight for the control of this area. It's so important right now. If they're able to control this area, it's going to mean that live stone is in their position in the future, right? And that's what they need the live stone potentially on the AC side. If they're able to capture maybe back to back live stones, they might be able to come back from this disadvantage here. 3.5k, they've got to remember. Two FS's, 9,000 here. We will go down the leaderboard in a moment, but let's pay attention to this big fight here because this is what we love when we play Roots War. Free fighting. No worries. All free. So I love it. And that's why everyone kind of loves Roots War. It's one of the most, you know, demanding events and game modes to be introduced to Call of Dragons, which was obviously kind of from... Um, Rise of Kingdoms, right, in the, um, uh, I can't remember what it's called in uh, Rise of Kingdoms. It's been such a long time, but someone in chat will, uh, will remind us most likely. But we're at the 43 minute mark, and if we want a nice little highlight of the situation, we've got 43 minutes to go, 9.5k to 3.8k, 290 score per minute on the AC side. While we have 640 score on the fear side. Let's get a bit of the live draw in here now, right? I think the live draw has not been used yet. And let's um, spice the thing up, right? So we can see now the bear here being used on both sides, right? We've got this bear on the top side from the FS using to kind of try its best to obviously zone out players but these guys have just clearly walked around that bear which is nice but this beastmaster for ac clearly being a lot more active and targeting this very small clump of troops here is beautiful because again if they able to get three kills out of that behemoth damage guys that's just another battle you know you know legion off the battlefield basically so 
really really good to see that on their side but look it looks like from this little fight here AC do currently have the upper hand which is kind of nice to see you know obviously the dominance from FS in the center so far and the way they've been able to control the map has been really clever but look at this nice little bit of fight here on both sides we can see again the murder ball kind of like moon shape line coming out from the fs but more tight a ball right very tight on the smaller troops from ac which again you can see is more benefiting the fs allowing them to attack almost from these different angles right and maximizing on this small troops forcing them now to go all the way back and actually Looks like FS are going to be coming out on top of this fight, which is crazy to say. But there is still more, right? They've got some troops here, some troops on the other side. But no, it does look like the boys are succeeding here. And the Livestone is up and available. So let's see what happens here because the bear currently is targeting that march it's doing a fantastic job here on the beast master right he's allowing that beast basically to stop anyone from targeting that livestone while the fs crew as you can see now coming through the bottom of the screens now pushing in to obviously take it for themselves a really nice little bit of strategy we're actually witnessing here from roots of war you're looking for roots of war strategy this might be something you guys need to you know consider look at it being able to use the bear or behemoth very effectively to delay your opponent's lifestone and allow your murder ball now to actually come on top you can see as well even while this is all happening guys look on the map it is some still majority showcase to be orange we've got three of the holes in the fs side one in uh well courage and two holes all on the f side while we have three outposts zero healing uh one of the courage and one outpost on the ac side so it's very very close in like i would say like this side it's how it doesn't look it but honestly guys if AC can absorb the like back to back life stones here and somehow just take control very sneakily of these hall of powers just located on this you know hall of blessing there just located on that top ridge on either side we've got a game on our hand it's only early days you gotta remember it's only early days so let's see what happens it's been obviously now Side on 57, we're on 4S, it's been 17 minutes, 27 minutes, 27 minutes, no, 17 minutes, there we go, we're going crazy guys, we're going crazy, but 17 minutes, no, I am going crazy, 10, 27, I am, 27 minutes, crazy, and we still got over 40 to go. If you guys have been enjoying the commentary so far, you know what to do. Just hit the like button. It doesn't hurt yourself. It doesn't hurt anyone. All you gotta do is literally scroll down or on your phone, maybe press the screen as a little big thumbs up like I've just done. Press that button. That's all we ask for. It's free to do, guys. But here we go. FS now. Taking control of the livestone area after using the actual bear. So we can see, again, now the bear being used on AC side. So let's see what happens here. Uh, basically, FA is going to be able to counteract this by using multiple, you know, marches uh, to try and capture the livestone. No, oh, never mind. They actually timed that perfectly. Guys, that was actually beautiful. Look at that timing. They just completely get full control now of this zone. And look, the behemoth despawned because of the timer. Beautiful. Actually beautiful. And just like that, Global is going to be taking back the livestone for FS. This is not looking good, honestly, for the boys here. But... 
as we did state, look, they are needing to try and take these. Look, we've got a closer score per minute here. 400 to 640, right? It was a massive swing earlier, but now it's getting closer. And this is what we were talking about. If our boys here can get it close enough, you know, where they take maybe this Hall of Power, they take this Hall of Power on the other side, it's going to allow AC basically on the map here to gain a big amount of control because if we just use the live draw again, the, uh, our little tool feature, you can imagine if they're able to take both of these points out, that again on their score is going to plus 300 boys and it's going to minus 300 from obviously the FS boys. It's a big swing of the um, score guys. So depending on obviously how a C play this out it could be anyone's game still it could be anyone's game there's 36 minutes remaining don't obviously knock anyone out but we can see on the map here the lifestone coming to obviously the fs building for the first capture so the first capture is going to be successfully going now to the fs nice and simple even though ac are trying their hardest here just to get a little bit of obviously some pork off maybe to try and get you know some free kills but clearly it's not going to work this is gonna be achieved global hitting that exception let's just get this nicely summed up because i'm not gonna lie so far depending on how obviously this turns out we might be able to upload this video all in one go are you been doing guns? Yes, this is where I see you've gone. <laughs> Are you guys fighting right now? <laughs> the power difference before um, this started, it was like 3.2. Um, it was like 3... 3.25 to like 3.75 in the Fear Show favor. So they did have like 500, say like K or million, whatever the points is, you know, like... That was the difference in, so. But at the moment, 29 to 560, 18 here going over to him. Um, let's go to the action now. And I'm not gonna lie, this Hall of Power, I haven't seen it dropped once yet, which is kind of scary because it's not dropped once and it's been a Madeline and Garward garrison. That's all it's been. Madeline and Garwood and it's not it's tanked through uh Syndrome Frega, it went through a uh Theodore Forendale. I don't know what Sunzo's rally is doing here. This is some funky rally movement. It's supposed to be hitting this Hall of Power, but it's going on a little fantastic, you know, merry-go-round, it looks like, or potentially. It might be going, actually, I think it's going for the Tree of Healing. Interesting. It's going for the Tree of Healing. That's nasty. That's a nasty bit of rally in there. If Sunzo uh, gets any sort of aggro right now on that infantry, that's going to cause massive counter attack damage uh, from FS onto obviously the AC side here. And there we go. Sunzo's getting through. They've gotten through. Angel of Chaos launching a bunch of rallies themselves back out. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I know we hate to see it. But Disney. Disney's made an appearance. We've got Toha on screen with Bert. Even though we, we joke about it. I'm not going to lie. Watch how much damage this guy's going to dump out. Look. 891. 891. 891. 891. Like, it comes out so fast. It's surprising how much damage I watch Toha's pump out. Even though people said Toha wouldn't be good. It's weird. When you actually get into a PvP scenario and it's not 1v1 trades and, you know, no testing, it seems really weird that the more I'm watching Toha, it gets, it gets the, you know, the balls gets the job done. <laughs> Which is a crazy one. We've got double AC rallies here. Jack Frost and Awaken Polly. They are using their magic. It's slowly, obviously, recall back. It is delaying them. I'm guessing this is going on to the Hall of Nature as well. Ooh, and they're doing a deep one here onto the outpost. 
very, very deep here. So, we can see FS though, very happy on the bottom side, the control on the bottom side here. They've got Tree of Courage, Hall of Blessings, while obviously on the top side, this little, ooh, ooh, Sunzo, stealing here under the rug. Poor Sintron Frega. Just cannot tank it, and it's a little bit too late. AC is now seeing what's happening, and unfortunately, honestly, you guys are going to lose your, 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 your building. Unfortunate. Tree of Healing. Sniped. Very good. This is really good play, and honestly, this is really, really strong, because if we bring out the map again for you guys here, and just explain some big brain... Maybe Roots of War stuff for you boys here. You've got to think, this is the enemy tree of healing. Meaning, now FS actually have two times tree, right? So if you've got two times tree, they have actually way more troops on the field. Because they're going to have way more uh, free healing through the elixir production of the Roots of War mechanic. Because again, they own their own one right so this is very very big it's causing basically almost like a i wouldn't say like an inflated swing but do you know what i mean like this is getting kind of out of control because if if you can imagine your troop count is like a line right this is your like your line it's just uh actually right fs without going off screen here so this is like your amount of troops, and normally you might be able to heal this amount of troops, right? And both both teams can heal this, right? But now, what if you just literally go all the way up, and your your enemy are down here? They've, they've cut down by half, right? Because you've basically doubled up on them. It's going to be a crazy PvP swing, so it's very important to understand that when it comes to like, you know the map as well because you can see even these guys right they are trying to take back their you know buildings they are trying to take even the tree of courage which is all about stats for obviously the fs crew so we'll see if they're gonna be able to do it but it's got 30 minutes remaining and i'm not gonna lie it's looking a little bit shady so let's see what's going to happen. We've got the Lifestone coming on soon. And it's always going to spawn in the center for the next one, I believe. So here we go. They fight. Oh, the center is now on. Hi Harder being the front line. Obviously being there, I'm guessing, for a couple of minutes. Probably twiddling thumbs, having a good time. You know, nothing too crazy here. But King Kong Butter, big butt butt, coming through. T5 knocking on the door, Medina with the Madeline Goward here, now tanking for the FS crew. AC has a nice amount of mages here. Look at this as well, like the birds. I like to see it, guys. I like to see it. New hero, everyone said wasn't going to be good. People are using it, and I'm hearing good feedback. I'm not going to lie, hearing good feedback. So I'm getting a little bit confident when it comes to... But the future of him, maybe when they fix potentially maybe a couple of bugs when, you know, with his skill 2. That's all they need. But apart from that, Bert, you can see, is being used everywhere right now. It's it's kind of crazy. So, but right now, unfortunately, AC is being pushed in. FS, their reinforcements have now come through to the center. You can see more reinforcements coming on now through the top side. And the marches on AC reaching critical mass. There's so many red markers here. Let's see who gets the focus fire and finishes them off. We can see all of the Hornet swarm. The boys in yellow. FS coming. Love it, man. Look at this shit. Look at it. Bro, they're dead. It's gone. It's all gone. And just like that, it looks like the boys in yellow FS. Victoria's in the fight for the center here. But, and this is another cool, cool but. Look what's happening, boys. We have FS stealing the uh, blessings back off them. As well, again, on this side, but, ooh, bro. 
Bevel Ray. This cavalry match slapping is Madeline Scogel rally. I don't know why this is a rally. Interesting. Maybe they're testing out. Maybe they're testing out. Definitely losing, it looks like. Admiral using Fear, uh, uh, Theodore and Forndel against just the standard Emrys. But here we go, boys. Oh, it's up. It's up. Enigma's got it. FS locking down the center. After that victorious fight for the middle. And now VPP coming in as well with a rally. Awakened Polly trying to obviously take control of, I believe, this Hall of Nature. We'll see if that does anything. We've got VPP coming in with a Goresh Skogel ready or... You know why you got to roll, guys. you got to roll those R's with the Grush Skogel, boys. Look at the counter-attack damage on this mother, man. Look at this. Are you ready to watch this filth right now? Poor Megaforce is just minding his own business and now he's taking casually 274 damage. Oh! Get out. Just get out. Why is this allowed? He's gone. He had children. He had a family. Oh, it's going crazy, dude. We have a... Oh, my God. This this cavalry rally coming through is being blocked by everyone. And it's being targeted around now. The murder ball from FS, I want to say, is targeting down his cavalry rally. And he's... <laughs> They are punching through with very little troops that are there. That is kind of not even funny, man. That's like ego at its finest. But guess what, guys? Backup has arrived. FS Hydra has been summoned. Is now coming in to help. Oh, no. The area of effect, poison, damage here. Too much, man. It's just too much. The buffs. The damage. The rallies. The carnage. I don't even know it anymore. It's just too much, man. It's just too much. Look, 25. Minutes to go. 27,000. On the FS side, boys. 9.7k on AC. I want to say confidently now, I don't think AC is coming back. <laughs> I think. So, you hold up, hold up. There were 14% of you that voted for AC. Whoever you are, you all owe me like a gold chest. So if you're not an 8, 99, 99 in the PayPal right now, it's fine. You lost a bet. It's okay. You thought it was a joke voting. It's not a joke. It's not a joke, man. This is life. Fall of Dragons is clearly life. And look at AC. Oh, shit. AC coming in big. They're ignoring the FS Hydra just going for the throat, dude. Oh my lord. 10,000. They finally broke it. They finally broke it. It's good to see that. Let's have the. Do you know what? It's at the 23 minute mark. We haven't done this all game so far. Let's have an actual shout out to the players. To the players. Obviously, it's set to the FS side, so I'm not being biased, but unfortunately, we're doing the FS side at first. <laughs> But Modena, 69,000. I didn't plan it. I didn't plan it, I swear. Jason, 57k. VPP, 54.2. Shida, 48.5. 48.2 from Matt Hips. Zero Cobra, 46.5. QT, 93.3. 9.7. Shadow, at 37.5. Very close together. Rank 9. And finally, I'm going to do rank 10 with high hand here. We got 35,000, 34.9 global and high end, making the top 10 current fighters in the Fear Show. If we look at the top 10 fighters of AC, we've got. Woo! I'm getting to that slick by little trial on my lap. Woo! 
a little spiciness there. We've got King Kong's boots. We've got a bit of butt butts in there. King Kong's hairy ass, 50k.4 there. We've got Lupra, I want to say, at 48.4k. Agro Wasp, 44.6. Deka Reaper at 44.4. I'm not even gonna go for this. Mr. Bog Smiley Face 41.1k. And then coming down, and you can see a big drop. Shaggy Zoinks 33.3k. Unfortunately, he's clearly not powered up to the Super Saiyan Shaggy that we all know from the movie, but it is what it is. FinTech 33.1k. We've got an enchilada at 31.8k and then finally rank 10 night bread 31.1k and you know what because i'm a little bit ruthless and we have a have a little just look at the fight we can see ac ac successfully pushed successfully pushed fs out of it we're not we're not just leaving it there boys we're not just leaving it there Make that less than seven ten thousand score. Get your ass in gear, boy. In AC, everyone's good. Everyone's good. Everyone's fine. In FS, though, Maki. Bruh, I don't know if you're too scared to fight. I don't know what you've been doing for the last... 37 minutes. But you need to step up your game, dude. This is not the bronze division. This is the big boy leagues. This is where you need to put your big boy fucking pants on and fight, my guy. Because look at this. This is fight night, roots of war. There's no reason to be scared. Everyone's going all up. Oh, so why are you not over 10,000 points, my dude? Why are you not over 10,000 points, my dude? You know what I'm saying? However, <laughs> minus all that craziness aside, <laughs> bringing Sneaky back into reality. Fight for the center. Oof. Look at the score, boys. Ooh. Ooh, the score's shifting. The tables have turned. 370 to 340. This is the first time all game, apart from the beginning, where AC actually have created a point advantage into their favor. So let's see if they're gonna be able to maintain this. There's no rallies going on the map. I'm able to tell you this easily because I am, you know, Basically, you know, challenger, if you want to say that, as a rank in this game. Just say it, I'm a challenger rated. I'm like top 10 best players in the entire game. I know this just by looking at the map. The map's not flashing. Nothing's flashing. That's how we know, right? So, easy as that. When we go back into the middle, though, look at this. Big fighting now. Push from the FS crew. Still taking this damage from the Hydra. And I'm not going to lie, they nearly have defeated it. This thing will, though slowly i will say slowly become um uh, unspawned and just like that actually unspawned it shall and here whew, one minute to go guys fs already looking stronger on the next stone where are the other boys i don't know maybe sleeping maybe they're watching naruto maybe you know, their mum have called them downstairs. It's past their bedtime. Because right now, I'm not going to lie. I really don't see many people fighting for the blues compared to the yellows here. It's not looking good for Izzy. They've, they are spending troops in the middle. I don't know why. We can see them. Um, FS. Boom. On the spawn. On the spawn. Easy clap. Boom. Oh, yo. The audacity. The audacity. Look at that. Enigma. 
Bro, I'll take it to your tree of courage. I'll take it to your tree of courage because I can. Bro, these guys, too late. You're too late, dude. Too late. They are just going home in the center. And I think this is what it's going to come down to, boys and girls. I'm not going to lie. If you've enjoyed this Roots of War, I am going to confidently say it already with 17 minutes to go that FS are going to be your winners here. And all we're going to be watching now is going to be 17 minutes of Bukaki Absolute Carnage Fuck Fest just PvP gameplay where everyone is just running head first without thinking at each other. And let's see who runs out of troops first. And that is it. So 17 minutes, that's what's going to be on screen. I hope you are ready to witness it. This is going to be a very fun time. This has been Roots of War. And I'm hoping, like I said, tomorrow, I'm going to be fighting myself, right? I'm going to be fighting in... in Order 66, so I am going to be fighting, and it's going to be a little bit more of a different stream when I do my Roots of War, because obviously I am going to be commentating, but I'm going to be commentating more from, as you can imagine, like how I am um, playing, if you want to say. I might even, depending on how they are, I might uh, join the voice comms and listen, let you guys listen into the voice comms and stuff too, which would be kind of cool for you guys. But... Hope you guys have been enjoying it. This has been Roots of War so far. You know what to do. Smash a like. Show us some support, boys. It's coming up to 21 p.m. on the UTC scale. <laughs> no? What do you mean, no? How you doing, Jacob, my dude? Anyone who's been randomly gifted... A sub, like, I believe, Tete, you want to thank Jacob in chat right now, the one and only, one of my close friends, I'm gifting 10 subs the other day to everyone, so if you want to personally thank him, this is kind of the time, you can, you can fill his ego, you know, he isn't, unfortunately, a fellow Call of Dragons player. He was, but, you know, I kind of I kind of got him onto the waifu trade, and now he kind of runs pretty much the strongest kingdoms in Age of Titans, which is it's nice to see and funny to see. You got very drunk last night at a country concert. I didn't even know that was possible. You know why? Because I don't do country. <laughs> Yo, they are. Huskanara? They're hitting the Huskanara? You guys have got a death wish, but they broke. Oh shit! They're killing it. 4,300 damage. Anyone else saw that? It wasn't just me. Wasn't just me who just saw that 4,300 critical hit. Oh my lord. The rally. It's trying to punch through. They've got all of the support at the back. We will just have a quick scout around. Don't know what's going down here. If this guy is a Twitch TV streamer, my guy, you are showing yourself up right now. But, shout out to you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have Zero Cobra coming in to take control of Tree of Healing. Bertrand um, is, yeah, this guy is Bertrand here. This little, um, I don't know. Oh, I don't want to say like little oozy witty things. He just doesn't, but you know what I'm saying? Like that hairstyle. Yeah, that, that's Bertrand. Poha, if we spot one. You will, if you're lucky, and, and you find this rare creature on the open field as a primary commander, you might spot him. He does look like the latest Disney Spanish movie coming out. But you don't really spot him unless some people are feeling very, very spicy. Zero Cobra, gonna win the Tree of Healing. Encanto, nah, dude, this, it's gonna be the, no, dude. Not even Encanto. This is like, imagine they went 
full 1990s Disney. And he made a Spanish film. And the main mascot was a Spanish bull. That's all I'm saying. And it was like, instead of, you know, I don't know. Imagine it being somehow they figured out how to make a, you know, the Spanish bull fights into a movie. That would be the plot of the whole movie. And that is the latest character, or the other maid, should we say, in the game, right? So, some people kind of hope they, like, rework his everything on him. <laughs> I was going to say, like, his model, but let's be real. I think everyone wants everything reworked on him. Like, no one enjoys the model. No one really enjoys, as well, his skills. They're a bit clunky and hard to use this state, but... I'm not gonna lie, from when you do see them on the field, they do look kind of fun. And you know when you see one on the battlefield, because out of all of this crazy mess and all of this insane artifact damage put out from the FS side here onto the AC, you will notice occasionally there's like five black orbs that, you know, goes around a player like this. So Toha is with Zero Cobra's troops over here. And this guy, I'm not going to lie, when he's left unchecked, he does do a ton of damage. But the problem is, it's just hard to use that hero. No, I just said a hero Mez really hasn't changed much. And that's kind of good. Because even with the newer heroes, they fulfill their own roles. While, obviously, the old heroes still have their own roles, which is kind of good. Kind of like that so far. Ten minutes almost to go though. 38,490 score per minute as well on the fear short. 15.4k on the AC boys, the angels of chaos. There we go. Now dragons have been summoned. FS dragon here to play. We're thinking we're in Skyrim right now, boys. Let's get him. Big hit. Big hit. Do it. Ooh. Bro, Eskinaw is getting melted. Oh, no. Is Reaper going to get out of it in time? 12. It, it literally just took 12k damage. Here we go though, Behart. Is Behart going to be able to take this Hall of Power? I think this is the only building that's withstand the test of time. You forgot how sick the monster control is? Yup. I'm not going to lie. With even like the newer uh, behemoths in too, it's really sick, man. Oh, I wonder if this is going to hit. Oh, it does. Oh, it goes through the safety barrier. Unfo- Oh, shit. It's just like... <laughs> Battle of the Dragons. Bro, has anyone watched Game of Thrones? <laughs> I watched Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, I'm debating to upload this, you know, like Roots of War as one just complete video as it is. Maybe make a little intro just for it. Um, or just create a highlight. I might just roll it out and just see how it does. But this has been honestly an amazing uh, one. It's been a fun one anyway for everyone to watch. But honestly, the strategy, you can see the strategy coming out from the FS guys from the get-go. So, I have to give credit where credit's due, right? Nah, I don't think so. Depending on how you use your behemoths, um, you know, it's not really worth attacking it unless you've just got so many troops that you are able to literally just K 
kill it and wipe these guys out at the same time. But a lot of the time, these guys just, you'll notice like in the, early, if you watch even the, the Roots of War earlier, like in each of the different behemoth times, like using the behemoths to actually, you know, um, like stop people from taking life stones and stuff like that. It's really cool. Really interesting way to actually, you know, uh, use these in Roots of War to actually like stop objectives and not just to be like this absolute murder machine that we're witnessing right now from both sides because look at it even on here the ramp man that poor ramp is getting absolutely just shredded with just damage now man it's just insane and as well i did say guys the last 17 minutes of this fight would be just non-stop a headbutt I don't think there's going to be much rallies from now. I think everyone's just going to be fighting for the center. Yeah. It was really nice to watch earlier, honestly. Watching earlier with the FS crew on... I want to say around like the 45 minute mark or just before when you see the very first Lifestone capture. That was amazing. That was probably the best play of the whole... The whole thing. Because, like, they was able to, like, they weren't in control of the Lifestone Zone. Um, they was able to, like, fight and then basically keep slowly pushing closer and closer to the Lifestone, obviously, while not being there. But then use their bear to attack the players that were trying to capture the Lifestone on the AC side. And then, obviously... FS wins the murder ball fight and actually gets to the live stone and stops the capture and then captures the live stones themselves. It was so good. Actually, just really good, like, Beastmaster strategy with with the murder ball. Like, and the thing is, guys, I, I can't show it, but they are, honestly, it is right now. If I just quickly have a look over, there is 24 four of them in voice chat so out of the 30 you know majority of them are all in voice comms they're all listening to each other so the, they might be all muted you know what i mean but this is kind of the the power of it if you have voice comms and everyone has voice comms look at it man you only need three four people maybe speaking and controlling everyone and everyone doesn't have to speak they don't, and you know even if you don't feel confident in speaking you don't need to What's more important is actually listening, you know? So what we're gonna do though, which is a new feature I believe in Roots of War for the last five minutes, is actually press this little button down here. Because look at this, we have all these different battles. And I've been getting these, if you've been wondering how, by clicking on the march. So if you click on the marches, you're able, as you can see, to see all of these oh it crashed the game no i was gonna show you something cool we'll load it back up well i was gonna say the new feature does allow you to shoot show your reports right so you're able to actually see the battle reports everyone so i can show you like the the toha reports and stuff like that from what people have been doing that's unfortunate that's unfortunate right now Battle ends in one minute. In our game, it's three minutes forty, obviously. I'll see if I can do it again. There we go. Is there a content creator in FS? Yeah, me. <laughs> me. I am the content creator. <laughs> um, There is, to be fair, yeah, there's a thing, not casuals, right? But I don't know if he's in TFS or FS. I keep forgetting. Maybe both of them. 
Also, before Slongers, you might remember Slongers. Slongers did, it was a TFS content creator, but he did more like comedy sketches, which I really enjoyed, but he stopped doing content and played the game, unfortunately. But yeah, he, he was doing like content for him, but he did like say comedy sketches like the, uh, like he pretended to be like Chisgol and pretended to be like Nefisto and stuff, which was really funny. Uh, but uh, apart from that, not what I'm aware of. Like I say, I think Zoraz, which is like, uh, if you type in like not casuals, you'll probably know the guy um, you met in the not casuals YouTube channel if you've not checked him out. Coming out to the last one minute and fifty. Let's see, Maki, my guy. If this video ends and you don't have ten thousand score and you watch this video, you literally owe me maximum weekly resource. Good boy. Good boy. He put his big boy pants on, boys. Yeah, you might know a lot of these guys, dude. Yeah. I'm playing with a lot of the old 65 crew in DS, by the way. Um, a lot of the 65 guys, I think, came into FS. I think. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe jump on your account, you might be able to migrate in. <laughs> you might be able to fight with us. <laughs> 40 seconds to go, no guys. 40 seconds to go. This has been Roots of War, FS versus AC. The Fear Show fighting the Angels of Chaos. It is coming to the end. 18,600. Big boy points for Angels to 48,900 plus um, going to the Fear Show. So we can clearly see the winners here. I'll give a quick little scroll down before the last 10 seconds for the guys here in FS. Congratulations to all of you guys for winning and being victorious for your very first Root of War MVP, our one and only Officer Modena. Love it, 115k. And look at this total kills 50 million to 39 million. Total wounded, obviously, it's going to be a complete flip. Total amounts of healed 3.2 million troops on the AC side to the 1.5. On the fear sure. And we can see on all accounts. All accounts the fear sure was victorious. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. 